Hi, my amazing Stopper Spartans. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. Today, we're gonna to continue our basketball skills and we're gonna practice our passing again. So we're gonna practice our bounce passing, chest passing, and overhead passing. So you will need a partner for these activities. So find mom, dad, brother, and sister to practice passing with. Now, if you don't have anyone to practice with, like I don't have anyone, you can practice bouncing against the wall or bounce onto your couch or to the bed. But just be careful, I don't want anyone to hit anything, knock anything over, or break anything. And if you have two extra partners, later we can play a game of Monkey in the Middle. But before we go into Monkey in the Middle, let's practice all our passing first. We're gonna start off passing, uh, doing our bounce pass. So you're gonna hold the ball with two hands, put it against your chest, take a big step forward, you're gonna push the ball down to the ground and bounce the ball to your partner. You wanna be about 10 to 15 feet away from your partner so you have some distance. You're gonna to have to push it hard so you, so you can get the ball to them, all right? So again, put the ball by your chest, take a big step forward, push the ball down and to your partner. You wanna push it about halfway in between you and your partner. So I will show you what it looks like against the wall here. I'm gonna stand at this tone, hand against the chest, big step forward, and push. One, two. All right, friends, I'm gonna have you pause the video and practice your bounce passing for five to seven minutes. Ready, set, go. Great job bounce passing everyone. Now we're gonna move on to chest pass. Now this is gonna look really similar to the bounce pass. You're gonna put the ball at your chest, take a big step forward. Instead of pushing the ball to the ground, you're gonna push it just right to your partner. All right, so big step forward, push. You're aiming at your partner's chest, so you want them to catch it at chest level. So when they pass it back to you, you can catch it, catch it at chest level. Again, let me show you against the wall. Ball's at my chest, take step forward, and push. All right, my friends, let me have you pause the video, and you're gonna practice your chest passing for five to seven minutes. Ready, set, go. Great job with your chest pass, friends. All right, our last type of pass is gonna be the overhead pass. You're gonna take two hands, put the ball above your head, take a big step forward and throw it overhead. Now you're aiming above your partner's head, so partners, maybe if you have your hands up, they can throw it into your hands and you can throw it back into their hands. Just like that. All right, I will show you against the wall. If you're throwing against the wall, you're gonna to aim towards the top of the wall. Try not to hit the ceiling though, okay? But just like this. All right, friends, pause the video and I want you to practice your overhead pass for five to seven minutes. Ready, set, go. Great job overhead passing, my friends. You did fantastic. Good job bounce passing, chest passing, and overhead passing. Now we're gonna play a game of monkey in the middle. So you need two extra people. You're gonna need yourself and two partners. And what you're gonna do, I don't have anyone else to play with, so I will show you here. What you're gonna do is have one partner stand at one cone. You will stand at the other cone. You are not gonna move your feet. You have to keep your feet still and you're gonna practice all your passes, the bounce pass, the chest pass, and overhead pass, and you have to get the ball successfully to your partner, all right? So I would bounce pass it, chest pass it, or overhead pass it. Now, if you're in the middle, if you're the monkey in the middle, 
you are able to move your feet. So you're going to move around, put your hands up to the side, and you're going to try and block the pass. Okay? So if I'm the monkey in the middle, and I stop the pass, whoever threw the pass, so if it was number one right here, he would go to the middle, and I would become a passer. And then I would pass to my partner. So you have to try to fake them out. All right? So that's how you play. Hopefully you have someone at home, or two people, two people at home to play with right now, but if you don't, that's okay. Practice later this afternoon, later this evening, or during the weekend. So pause the video and practice monkey in the middle. Ready, set, go! Great job playing monkey in the middle, my friends. You guys did fantastic. I am so proud of you guys. I cannot wait to get back to school and to see all of you when we're in person and see all your basketball skills. So next week, we will continue our basketball. We'll work on shooting and rebounding. But until then, I hope you guys are staying healthy, staying safe. Don't forget to read on your free time. And I look forward to seeing everybody next weekend. I'm sorry, next week. But you guys have a great weekend on Friday and Saturday and Sunday. All right, bye everyone.